Hi, Glenn here. Today I'm in my garage sitting in my Jeep. I've had this extra switch on the A-pillar for quite some time now and I've wanted to do something interesting with it. So I put some RGB LED tubes underneath the dash to light up the floorboards and I connected the red LEDs to the switch. So when you turn the switch on, the floorboard lights up red. And then I thought it'd be really cool if I could make this change colors. So I built this device which lets me change the color of the LED strips using this device. So let's go into the bench and see how this module works. Then after we're done with that, we'll come back out in the Jeep, install it, and try everything out. We're back at the bench now, and I have the module I built disassembled. Um, it's pretty simple, really. Inside is a Roving Networks Bluetooth module that allows me to communicate with my Android phone using Bluetooth. Connected to that is a PIC24 microcontroller. This PIC24 microcontroller responds to commands uh, from the Android phone sent over Bluetooth and comes up with dimming levels for some red, green, and blue LEDs that are connected there. The dimming levels are communicated from the PIC24 over to a PIC18. The PIC18 does basically a gamma correction or a perceptual lookup to uh, compensate for the nonlinearity of the human eye. It's a response to, to different colors. Um, the PIC18 um, Pulse width modulates the resulting levels, um, goes to a bunch of transistor drivers here that turn the LEDs on and off really fast. And this is connected and I've got the Android app launched and the way this particular screen works is you just use your finger to select a color. So if you want a green color, you go over there. The, the green commands transmitted from the phone to the Bluetooth module, to the PIC24, to the PIC18. The PIC18 modulates the LEDs and you get a green color over there. Um, you, pick any color along the wheel there. And then the other thing that happens is the actual color that's been uh, selected is echoed back to the phone and you get a little uh, swatch of the color right there as well as the red, green, and blue levels uh, corresponding to the color. So let's go back out in the garage and install this in the Jeep and we'll take a look at the rest of the modes and, and how it works in the Jeep. So we're back out in the garage. I've uh, Velcroed and zip tied the module to this plastic panel that goes underneath the uh, glove box and I'm getting ready to make the finally electrical connections here. So plug that in, and sure enough, the power LEDs are blinking, and the floorboard lights are red, and it's now slowly changing colors. I'm going to uh, snap this panel back into place, and then we'll grab the phone, we'll connect the phone, and we'll play around with it a little bit. Okay, so I've got the glove box and the Jeep button back up. Now we're gonna demonstrate the uh, app for controlling the lights. Um, probably the, the first screen to do is to go to the status screen and make the connection. So do that, you pick connect, select the roving networks module, a little while later it'll show it's connected, and then it has a swatch showing the current color as well as the red, green, and blue um, color values. Right now it's kind of slowly changing. So let's go uh, back a level here, and let's demonstrate the color wheel. And so now we can put it into a fixed color mode. And so if you want a red, you can tap red, or tap green, tap blue, or tap any of the colors in between. Or you can sit there and just scroll your thumb around until you find a color that you like. In addition to having uh, the color wheel, and it's got some sliders. And so you can go in here and you can use RGB sliders to uh, set the color you want. And it's got a random color mode. So you can basically tell it to change random to a random different random color on a different time interval, anywhere from uh, 0.1 second, which is quite fast, to more reasonable one second, up to maybe once a minute. Um, I have a color wash mode where it just cycles through all the different colors, and there's both a forward direction and a reverse direction. Um, you can slow it down, speed it up, and it's got white with a bunch of different levels, off half, 100%. So the other thing that's kind of cool about this is that the phone doesn't have to be connected for this to work. Um, if you want the lights to default to white every time you turn it on, you set it to white, and then you hit the right configuration to flash. And at that point, um, if you didn't have the phone connected and you just turn the, the floorboard lights on using the switch on the A-pillar, it would, it would come right back up to, uh, to white. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is if you go into, say, a mode like random color, you can then go to the status thing, and it'll show you a swatch that mirrors the color of the actual lights. I guess it's probably a little hard to see on the phone here. So let's uh, slow it down and maybe maybe that'll make it a little bit uh, easier to see. So 
So that's uh, my project for uh, for this month, and I basically uh, built up some uh, floorboard lights that are that use RGB LEDs and are controlled from my Android phone using a uh, Roving Networks Bluetooth module. That's all for now, and maybe I'll have another video here in another month or two. Thanks for listening. Bye.